so here we go for our second match this week in Friday Night Nine Ball. And we've just joined. Uh, now let me just check, is it a round four match? Yes, it's a round four match between Tony Sam and It's Me, or Scouser, as uh, we call him. Both of them from England. And we see that uh, It's Me is getting the full handicap. He's getting five and out. And uh, that's reflected in the ratings. Tony Sam, a very experienced VP3 player from years ago. And It's Me, a relative newcomer to the game. And so we're early in this match. And we'll just have another quick look at the bracket while they're messing around here in the first rack. We see that this is to... The winner of this match is to see who plays uh, Capo. Oops, hang on a minute. Uh, Capo's sitting there waiting. And, uh, of course, the loser of this match goes over to the one lost side. So you can see there's still quite a few... And the brackets waiting over that side. Big turnout tonight. Certainly over 20 in the tournament. And uh, it's probably got another couple of hours to go this tournament. But anyway, it's me has won the first rack. Now I suspect that. Uh, oh, he scratched, unfortunately. Well, I don't know what happened there. I'm just wondering whether Tony made an error and uh, it's me only had to pot the one ball to win it because that's the pressure that he's under now. But anyway, Tony's got ball in hand. And again, the balls are all sitting in the open. So you would expect a player of his standard to run this table. And while they're also messing around I'm just going to have my uh, little cup of coffee before bedtime well there's the error he's hooked himself I think no he hasn't he's okay it's my eyes that are going it's getting late He's having to play this one at distance, and this isn't always a gimme. And remember, if he makes a mistake, he's more or less sold the rack down the river, because it's me only needs to pot the one ball. But he gets it, a nice solid shot in the six. And of course the crucial one is off this seven and getting onto that eight in a nice way to get back to the nine. Well, that's okay. He can actually just go top and back up the table, which he's done, and he's got a good pace on it. That's just going to finish nice on the nine. And so Tony Sam has tied the match up at one rack all. Well, it's me put back in, and he just needs to get that thin, and he'll be in trouble now though, Tony Sam will just kill that cue ball right behind the 4 and 5.
but of course this rack is not set up for a run out because you've got the three ball right over in that right middle pocket there right on the jaw more or less and of course the other thing is the eight balls blocking it down to this pocket Misses a kick, but the one thing he didn't do was bash it around the table and start moving balls around, and that's what you don't want to do. And it means that the likelihood of Tony running this rack are, is fairly slim, he's going to have to work really hard to do that. Well he's done one thing drawn it back and used the three ball as a stopper and he's got the three ball off the rail however disaster he's stuck himself right behind the eight ball now there's a strong chance he can jump that and if he connects with the three ball okay it should run down into that or up into that pocket as we look And in it goes, and he's finished nice on the four. Well, that was the one shot that could go wrong, and it's, it's certainly gone wrong. It's a really awkward cut, and he can't hit that at a slow enough pace to get the six in, So, and also keep the cue ball down there, so he decided to play the safety. But he's not got that. Now, one good bank here by It's Me, and he's won the rack, and he doesn't want to hit this too hard. Got to let that ball take the angle off the rail. Well, he's got it. He's double banked it, but it doesn't matter. What's crucial is, he's five and out handicap is keeping him in the match, and he's now leading by two racks to one. And something again has dropped on the break. I don't know what one it was. Was it the... Was it the three ball? No. No, the four ball. Four ball's gone. Well that missed one ball has given Tony a chance but he's drawn the cue ball into that jaw and that's scuppered his run here and he's now got to kick. Well I would settle for that because that three ball is going to end up behind the five. was not a bad effort where a wee bit more lucky could have hooked Tony behind that six and this should be meat and drink but again the crucial one is just getting off that uh, side rail when he pots this seven and leaving a nice angle on that eight into the middle. Well, 
Well, he's slightly the wrong side, but it's it's fine. He just needs to run off the side and back across, as long as he doesn't scratch. So Tony Sam ties the match up. It's now back to two racks all. Four ball again down on the break. Again, Tony's playing this at distance, it just makes it slightly awkward. It's not the hardest of cuts, but there's always that little doubt there. It's gone in clean enough. But this is where, when it gets to this crucial part of the rack, it's where it's me can pounce. If Tony makes any sort of mistake now, it can be rack over, and there's a mistake, and the rack's over. As long as it's me doesn't follow through, you just got to catch the edge of the six and drop it in. And this proves exactly how the handicap does work when a much less experienced player comes up against somebody like Tony. Tony Sam is always expected to run out these racks and these are unforced errors that he's made. And uh, you know anybody is going to pop one ball and that's all they're asked to do. And that's Steve saying hello to me, Mr. Virtual Pool 4, the developer of the game. Just asking if everything's okay. Yeah, with problems with the tournament system, so tournament system seems to be holding up okay so far today. And I think he's quite happy about that. Right, so where are we in this match? Well, we've got it's me up four racks to two. Tony Sam, ball in hand. And I don't quite know what Tony tried there. He must have tried a combo down the rail. Tony's back in. I think he's just going to have to try and jump this. I don't think he can see. No, he's got to got to try and jump that to get to the two. So 
So again, this is asking a lot. Well, that two ball's going to track into the hole. If you're going to miss him, miss him bad and get the fluke. And he's got no real shot in the four here. He's got a really tough cut. And uh, got to look at trying to play a good safety here. Steve going away to get back to work. Oh, and that was a crucial bank attempt combo there. And Tony's now under pressure. He knows that if he makes a mistake, and it's going to be late on in the rack, he's really shot himself in the foot. And he went for the bank. Now... Again, this is a, a tough shot to judge. I don't think he's cutting that enough by the look of it, the way he's sitting there. Let's see how he's going to hit this. Ah, he's went for the cut in the middle. Well, that was a good shot, as long as the cue ball doesn't spin in behind the nine. That was well played. Now this is where he's got to get sensible here and get a bit of draw in that cue ball. He's got to watch he doesn't run in. He can hit the five clean. Just got to hit it soft. Oh God, oh. He hit it so bad again it ended up good. Rattled in the jaws and then kissed in off the one. Or off the cue ball, sorry. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is it's another rack in the board. And that's the name of the game. You need that bit of luck. So, Tony's got not quite a mountain yet, but he's got to work for it now. And that's a good thing. But again, you can see Tony is struggling for uh, position here. Doesn't get to play a lot, I don't believe. Now, we certainly don't see him playing a lot of virtual pool uh, four. Probably busy, got a lot of other things going on in his life, like most of us now. We don't get an awful lot of time to play the game, and uh, it certainly shows. He's just struggling for position. And again, you see what happens when you hit them a bit too firm. These pockets won't accept them. If you hit them anywhere offline with pace, they're going to just rattle and stay out. I'll just try and finish my coffee. And it's me he's cut that to the rail and he's left it on. a nice soft cut. Tony will need another good one. A nice little cut with this uh, four on to the five and in goes the five. Once again we're at this crucial stage in the rack. The balls have gone outward and Tony's under pressure to get this four because the cue ball's going to come across here and leave himself on the six. That's not going to be a problem. And he's overcut it. 
Now, all that it's me needs to do is get this four ball in the pocket. And of course it's five and out. So he's got to get the four and get the six, I believe, unless I'm interpreting it wrong. Again, he doesn't want to hit this hard. So now this is game ball, and if he's going to bank this, he's got to be careful of the in off that cue ball. Can track into that top right hand corner. He might be playing the cut into the top left, I don't know, but either way, the cue ball's going to be dangerously close to the corner. Well, that was a good effort. And if the cue ball bounces, it's still leaving a problem for Tony. This seven ball only goes into this bottom right hand corner pocket and he's played it right. He's got the pace okay this time. It's a wee bit short again though. Now the last shot he had down this rail, you seen it there two shots ago. He overcut it and cut it away from the pocket. He's got a better margin of error here and he's played that well. And He's left it at distance again, that's the only worry with this 8 ball. And he's overcut it. And uh, every time you get them that little bit awkward, it always just plays in the mind that you've, you've just got to read that cutting angle. And again, it's me, he's got to go for the bank here. Again, not too hard. Got to let it take the angle. You might get the double bank. And he's overcut it this time. And again, this is not easy. And this time Tony leaves it in no doubt. But again, he's got to be careful with this nine. It's dangerously close, uh, close to that rail. And he's got it well. So there's a lot of hard work in that rack, um, but all that matters is Tony Sam's reduced his deficit and he's back to 5-3 down and he's got a ball in the break, six balls gone, but not really got a great shot in the one, okay he can cut it thin, but um, he's just going to have to ride his luck getting on this two here, and he's gone and hooked himself and now he's in bother. Because if Tony doesn't kick now, is that two going to be left on to the five? Well, did he get that clean there? I was busy moving the cue ball, moving my uh, cursor. Well, he got it clean, so that's okay. But the two and five are set up as a combo, but unfortunately for it's me, he can't get to it. And I think... The one thing that Tony Sam needs to get in his head, if he's focused, is he needs to get rid of that five ball very quickly. Because any time, if this two ball stays on the table or that three, it means he's got an easy combo knocking the two or the three onto that five. Now he really should be kicking in behind us and try and kick that two up behind the four. Well, I would be happy with that. Okay, he's left a shot. Again, it's not dead easy. Cue balls can come across to that four. Well, he's played it with inside English. I'm taking away that angle. And it looks as if Tony's going to have the four five combo. Well, again, that was a bad shot didn't plan on kicking the nine so now pressure's on Tony to get this bank it's a really a must well he played the billiard and that was good thinking now how's his luck well this is the same type of shot again it's a really awkward cut and he's got to get it he has got to get this and in it goes So 
Tony's feeling the pressure, but he's uh, he's getting the job done. He can't miss. Now he's sort of in between, but it's got to be got to be a cut into the middle, surely. And that's clean. So that's another rack on the board for Tony Sam. And it's me is now leading by just the one rack. Oh, and in goes the nine ball. But that is going to be respotted because it's spot money on the break. And Tony, unfortunately has got no shot in the one, so he's just looking for a push out. Well, that wasn't the best of push outs. You don't want to actually push out to to uh, to leave your short uh, partner a shot in the one. It's me just wondering why Tony didn't win the rack. Maybe not fully familiar with the, the rule settings that we have for this tournament. But he'll pick it up as he goes along. But uh, all that matters is Tony Sam, for his case, is at the table. Now, again, he's left it way short. And he's got no shot in the three. I think he might be able to catch the edge of the three, so he should be a good distance away from this three ball, and that's good cover. Now he's going to scratch, though. He's going to scratch. Oh, dear. Well, and this is where players like it's me needs to take their time and just look at the way the balls are sitting and what he has to do with the cue ball. He doesn't need to do anything here. He just doesn't want to leave it dead straight. Well, he's got a nice angle in the four, but he has to avoid hitting that six ball. Well, that was the obvious thing that was going to happen, and he's dug a hole for himself. But again, a wee bit more experience, and he'd have been able to avoid that contact with the six. And he's left himself hooked on the nine. Uh, sorry, not the nine, the five. And he's missed it, so it's again ball in hand to Tony Sam. But Tony now will be looking to roll towards this rail here to get on the six. Let's tidy up the camera. Now, again, Tony's problem is he's leaving it now. Well, there's a slight angle, but that now means he's got to force this in. And he's got to watch he doesn't catch the jaw, because that's likely to happen in the middle pocket. But he's got it nice. And now it's all about control of the cue ball for this eight. A delicate shot here in the seven. And then it goes, and the cue ball needs to keep travelling. And that looks good. And he's got, again, a nice angle off this eight ball, just to drop down. That he could actually, well, he's got top in the cue ball, because you can't hit the bottom of it. Well, again, this is just that bit awkward. But he should be able to cut this down the rail, because it's about a quarter of an inch off the rail. And that's fine. So now, Tony can breathe a little bit better he's got it back to five racks all and something again has flown in in the break the four balls get into the top left uh, what was the other one that went in two ball again poor Tony 
somebody throw him a bone, he's got, got himself hooked in the one, no shot, and just to push out. And this time, well, does that two ball go past that eight? That, that, so not the two ball, the one ball, that one ball goes past the eight, so. Now, is Tony leaving that as a bit of a teaser? Forcing his opponent into trying to run the table. And it's me taking his time, which was the right thing to do. How's his luck? Well, his luck is very good. If you go, as I keep saying, if you're going to miss, miss it bad and leave your opponent hooked. And Tony's going to line up a jump shot, but this nine ball looks too close to me. I don't like it. But then again, I can't play jump shot, so that's probably my excuse. And Tony gets the jump. But he's probably put a little bit of spin in the cue ball there and well he's left it's me a opportunity. And again this doesn't need to be hit hard. You've just got to keep the cue ball in the table and he's going to scratch. Now once again if you have it in your mind where the cue ball's likely to go when you play those cut shots. You can take evasive action and put that little bit of spin on it and it's me just played that plain ball so the cue ball was always going to go very close to the corner and that scratch has given Tony another opportunity here. Well, that's got to slow up and that looks, is that sitting nice on the six? That's a nice shot. So, if you remember, it's me had got himself into a 5-2 lead and uh, it was time that Tony Sam shook himself down and got himself into the match and he's done that. Again, he's got to take this, I think, long into the bottom or the top pocket as we look. It's a nasty cut into the middle. He looks as if he's lined it up into the middle, and that was always going to happen. But, again, he's left it awkward for It's Me. I would have taken that into the bottom pocket there, Tony. And I think if he had a second go at it, he would have done that. Well, It's Me's in the middle of nowhere here. He's got to try and get this lined up, concentrating where he needs to hit it, and he's overcut it. Well... He might have got lucky. Tony has got the shot in the nine now. Tony knows that if he goes for this nine, this cue ball is going to be running. Let's see if it's on track. Well, he's overcut it, and this time he's going to pay the price. And so... Again, it's me needs a bit of bottom in the cue ball here. Does not want to let this cue ball go forward. And he's played that okay. So, the match now takes another turn. It's me's on the hill. He's leading by six racks to five. He's got the break. Remember, he can't win on the break, which is the fair rule in this tournament and the one ball's dropped in and he's sitting nice on that too and he's got a nice angle as well to get that cue ball up the table cue ball has got to move you know you feel anywhere on the left hand side of the table as long as it's past that four ball he's going to have a cut in a three Needs to miss the six. Well, 
I mean, I think he can cut the three in, but he's got to just scrape the paintwork off the three to pot that. And even then, it's likely to go to the jaw on the bottom rail. Well, he's got it, got it clean, and look at that kiss in the four ball. He'll be more than happy with that. And now he's just got to hold himself together here. Just stop the cue ball. Don't need to over hit it. Just firm. Slow down. And this is match ball. A little cut in the five. Take your time. Use your shot clock. And don't rush it. And in goes the five and after that comeback by Tony Sam it's me held it together and he's won the match by seven racks to five let's have a quick look at the bracket and the bracket is still well the bracket's already updated it's me goes on to play capo and that'll be an interesting match I certainly won't be watching it because I'm about to go to bed and Tony Sam uh, if I can stop this bracket from jumping around, Tony Sam is now playing Preacher in the one lost side. So you can see that the one lost side has got a long way to go. And there's still a lot left in this tournament. And, uh, well, good luck to it. It's me. It's a big field and he's using his handicap well. And we'll see how he does when I get online tomorrow and we'll see you again sometime